But hello everybody, so today I am filming another Q&A. Obviously I did a Q&A not too long ago and I just rooted through the same Instagram story and picked out more questions that you guys asked to do kind of like a part two. But seeing as it's Oscar's birthday, I thought that I would wrap some of his presents with you all while answering some questions. So yeah, it's going to be quite a chitty chatty video because you all know me, I can talk for bloody England. So, oh that was weird. I can't get this off okay i've got it but yeah i'm basically just going to be wrapping presents for oscar's first birthday seeing as it's his birthday month and he's one in two days i just thought i would take you all along with me and answer some questions so i can't really be bothered to have a long intro so let's get into answering questions i can't remember what note i put it on oh is it this one okay here we go so the first one is how do i know when my mental health starts going downhill again so, obviously if you've known me for a while, or you've like watched a lot of my older videos, then you might hear me like mention that my mental health kind of like dips down, and then kind of like comes back up, and then like, so I have like a really good couple of weeks, where I'm really thriving, and I'm doing so good, and then for some reason, out of the blue, I wake up one morning, and my mental health will literally drop, and I'll literally be stuck in bed for a couple of days, not being able to do anything, because I'm just so upset, and it's really friggin' annoying, because it comes literally out of the blue, and it takes me so long to like get back on track, it's just when I have no motivation, like, I've not even started rapping, but it's just when, it's when like daily things start getting too hard, like, like vlogging, I'll vlog in the morning, and then I just won't have the motivation to vlog all day other than that morning, so then I won't have a video, so then it'll put my YouTube schedule behind, so then either I'll be stressed because I'll have to film an extra video which I don't know what to film, or something like that i kind of get into a bad place and then i make it worse myself by making myself in more of a stress situation because i blame myself which i shouldn't do but yeah as i said it's not really a kind of a knowing process like i don't really know i just kind of wake up one morning and it's like oh okay let's just stay in bed all day i can't really be bothered for today and i just won't be able to get back to normal i don't really know but luckily my mental health is doing really really good at the moment it's kind of all getting back on top of it now and just excited for Oscar's birthday. And I don't really know what else to say for that question, so I'm just gonna move on because, yeah. The second question is, when will I take Oscar's dummy away? I've got so many people like DMing me or like leaving comments like, he's too old for a dummy, you should take his dummy away from him now. Or like, what age are you gonna take his dummy away from him? He's gonna get too attached to it and all of that because obviously he is almost one and he still has a dummy. And the reason why he still has a dummy is because he is such a nightmare to try and get to sleep like he, he will not go to sleep for anybody or anything like some nights he'll do really really well and then other nights we'll have a really really difficult time getting him down and those difficult nights getting him down the only way we can get him down is with a dummy and hugging him like even if we hug him or give him a bottle or give him teddies or anything like that no matter what we give him he doesn't want it he literally just wants his dummy so at the moment, while he's struggling to sleep, we're not going to force the dummies away from him because they're his comfort thing at the moment. Don't get me wrong, he's not going to have his dummy for like too much longer. I see Oscar being 18 months and not having a dummy. So I can see me and Zach starting to take the dummy off of Oscar like quite soon and starting the process off so that when he's 18 months he won't have a dummy at all however at the moment he is really struggling to go to sleep so if he only will go to sleep with a dummy then i'm not going to take that one thing away from him that is making him be able to go to sleep because he is struggling at the moment and as i said i'm just not going to force anything right the next question is Oscar Ginger? Now, I get this question so much as well because obviously my two younger siblings, Bobby and Demi, are ginger. And the reason why they're ginger is because my mum is ginger. And the reason why I'm brunette is because my dad is also brunette. I obviously got my dad's hair colour and my other two siblings got my mum's. However, both me and Zach are dark haired. So Oscar does actually have brunette hair. So yeah, he's got the same hair colour as me and Zach. My hair colour is a bit darker than Zach's. Oh, this isn't going to fit. So my hair colour is a bit darker than Zach's, and I think Oscar's hair colour is a bit lighter than mine. So I think Oscar's going to have more of a lighter brown than a darker brown. But Oscar is not ginger. He is brunette like me and Zach. 
The next question is, do I want to stay local when I move or move completely like to a different area? So, obviously, again, if you haven't really been like caught up or catched up with any late videos or anything, then me and Zach are looking to move about November time this year. So we're looking to move out like pretty soon, I guess. And we are actually looking to live around the same area that we are in at the moment. And this is because both my mum and dad live around here and so does his parents. Like we live in quite a similar area. Like we live quite close to each other, which is really good. So me and Zach don't really want to move too far away when we move out initially because we want the support from our family and our friends and we don't just want to move out and like completely restart our life. Don't get me wrong, I don't see myself living here forever. Like I don't see this area being where I'm gonna live forever. Like I do see myself moving into a different area. However, for our first house when we're renting for the first couple of years, where we rent will be around here. And then as I said, after we rent, then God knows where we're gonna move to after that. But once we've rented, I do ideally then wanna start looking for a house. Ow, that was my elbow. Right, so the next question is, what is my favorite shops to shop for, for Oscar, like shopping for Oscar. So what are my favorite shops to buy clothes for for Oscar? That makes a bit more sense. But but my favorite clothes store for Oscar, for like bodysuits and pajamas, would be Next, Asda and Sainsbury's. And then for like tops, jumpers and bottoms, it would be Zara and H&M. But like I still get bottoms and things from other places. But those are the main shops that Oscar gets clothes from at the moment and for the past four or five months. So we get his clothes from there mainly. The next question is how is saving for the house going? So obviously me and Zach are both saving to move out this year. We're both trying to save combined a year's total worth of rent for a three to four bedroomed house property in and around this area and then also furniture to do it up with. So yeah, me and him have to save quite a lot of money and so far it's going okay to be fair, like we're budgeting really well. But yeah, saving is going quite well for me and Zach. Like don't get me wrong, we're nowhere near where we need to be but by November we should be just hitting our target or slightly over which is crazy, like I'm so happy and I honestly cannot wait to move out. Where are my scissors? I found them. Me and Zach are really, really positive that we are going to be able to meet the target that we need to be able to move out. Even if we don't meet the target that we want, which is obviously a year's up front, we will still be moving. Like, I would be happy to just get six months up front, but we are obviously ideally hoping to get a bit more than that, just because then it releases the stress off of us for the next year in terms of rent paying so yeah saving's going quite well at the moment the eighth question is will we get any pets when we move out i feel like this q a is very moving out based when obviously we still have quite a while but hey ho but yeah will we get any pets when we move out so obviously we have guinea pigs so we have three guinea pigs um patch basil and pumpkin they will be moving out with us seeing as they are my guinea pigs however when we move out me and zach also do want to get a puppy and maybe some fish because oscar absolutely loves fish so we do want to get a couple of pets when we move out me and zach have spoke about getting cats we both don't really get along with cats as much as we get along with dogs we're both more of a dog person than we are a cat person so we've both agreed that we're not going to have any cat at the moment but like that might change in the future but at the moment me and zach don't really want to get any cats we prefer dogs so we're going to look at getting a puppy when we move out or a rescue dog but right i don't really know how i'm gonna wrap this one up right next question what is the age gap between my youngest sibling and oscar so my youngest sibling is demi she's three she turned three on december the 30th so she was born in 2017 and then oscar was born march 2020 there is two years and three months difference between them so demi was 19 months old when i found out i was pregnant so a year and seven months yeah, Demi was only just one and a half when I found out I was pregnant and she turned two years, three months when I had Oscar. The next question is, do I want any piercings or tattoos? So I obviously have my ears pierced. I have two on this ear and then I do have three on this ear. However, my third hole has closed up so I don't have it anymore. But I did have it done. 
However, I do actually want to get a, a couple more piercings. Nothing like extreme. The only piercings I want done is my belly button. So I want my belly button pierced. And then I want my helix and then my thirds. And that's it. So I don't really want like anything massive. I do want my nose pierced. But everyone says that it wouldn't look nice on me. So I'm not going to get a nose pierced. But hey ho. I feel like I would suit a nose pierced. But I'm probably never going to build up the courage to get it done. So it doesn't really matter. And then for tattoos. I do actually want a couple of tattoos. However, I don't want any big tattoos. I only want like little small ones. I want a little elephant on my ankle like here, like a little Aztec elephant there. I want like a dove, like a dove here or something. Just like really small symbolic like tattoos. Honestly, I have wrapped this present atrociously. Is that even a word? But yeah, I don't want any big tattoos. I probably want about three or four of them. This is the present I just wrapped. Like, I, I'm just not good at wrapping presents. Would I say I've been forced to grow up because I became a mum? Yes and no. I would say I'm definitely more mature than the average 17 year old. However, I wouldn't say it's just because I became a mum. Oh, I ran out of sellotape. I wouldn't say it's just motherhood that's made me grow up. I feel like I've always been quite mature for my age because I've always had to be quite responsible because I've always had younger siblings. I've been a huge role in their life. Like none of you will know what I experienced while I was younger, but I was really heavily like involved in my siblings upbringing. So I don't feel like being a mother matured me by no means. I feel like I was already quite mature. Like, don't get me wrong, I wasn't mature 24-7. But obviously that's my personal opinion on myself. So everybody's opinion on me is going to be different. So I don't know. But yeah, I don't think being a mum made me mature. If I didn't have my younger siblings, then yeah, being a mum would have most likely made me mature. Because I wouldn't have known half as much as I did know about babies. But I did because I had my siblings. I don't know. It's quite confusing. Yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> the next one is, will I put Oscar into a public a school and nursery? Now, me and Zach are actually looking to put Oscar into a public nursery school. We don't want to homeschool him. We want him to have the experience that we had while growing up by going to a public school because it was a good experience and we d I don't want him to miss out on that, like that factor of his childhood. But he will most likely be going to public school depending on situations in the world by the time we have to decide when he's going to school but for nursery as well we, me and Zach do actually want him to go to a public nursery and we're thinking of sending him to the same nursery that my siblings went to because I know the staff quite well there and they know me quite well there so yeah that's what we're thinking because it's a public school but it's like in the middle of nowhere and they go out for like walks in the field and they go out for picnics in the field and it's just like a really nice nursery that's what we're kind of like planning for nursery I hope I didn't do that too small what's my favorite social media platform to post on I don't know see I'm really torn between TikTok and YouTube because they both have their pluses and they both have their negatives like I love YouTube because I feel like the viewers on my YouTube channel are there, all the viewers that actually want to kind of get to know me on a more personal basis kind of thing and then TikTok's more just like a, to stay up to date stay in the loop and things like that I'm talking about my profiles there by the way but yeah and then TikTok I love posting on TikTok because my videos get seen a lot more so I can engage with the audience a lot more easier on TikTok than I can on YouTube but I don't really know have I run out of tape no it just kind of varies depending on I don't even know what I was saying then I got too busy concentrating on tape oh now I've left like no room to cover the top oh I cut it too small again Honestly, don't ever ask me to wrap your presents for a birthday party because I just can't wrap presents for the life of me. Well, no, I can wrap them pretty well, but it's just I need the right amount of paper, which I clearly don't have for this. Right, that'll have to do. So, I'm actually going to end this video here. I have wrapped up one, two, three, four, five, six, six presents. There's still, I think, another six more to go or something like that, so... I'm going to end this video here so I can wrap those up real quick. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and you subscribe to our channel if you are new. Make sure you turn on post notifications so you're never late to a video because we have loads of birthday videos coming up in the next week or so, so look out for them. And yeah, I'm now going to go, so I hope you had an amazing day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!